I'm Ian Taylor from Ian Taylor Trekking and we're glad to announce that we have an island peak climb mixed in with our Everest Base Camp trek. So anyone looking to trek to Everest Base Camp that wants to add in an exciting climb up to 20,000 feet high in the Himalayas, this is the trip for you. When you're training for something like Island Peak, you got to work on the hills, maybe carry some weight on your back, uh, get a little bit of technical training because there is a little bit of uh, technical skills required. It's difficult. I think it's a different change and it's a different environment that people will be quite challenged by. From base camp at 5,100 metres, we have to go from there all the way to 20,000 feet. Good luck for summit tomorrow. <laughs> As the journey progressed along, we, we kind of went through snowstorms, slept in tents, the intensity got a little bit more, the altitude went up and at 100% Ian was there to make sure that we got through every step of the way. And most people don't have a high camp, we actually set up a high camp higher on the mountain, halfway up, and it gives us a nice launching pad to give ourselves every chance of making to the summit. And yeah, just getting ready to have a bit of a sleep for a few hours before we get up and, and hit it pretty hard in the morning. Let's hope we make the summit. We leave early in the morning and we head off in the dark into more rocky terrain, mixed zigzagging up hills. Fantastic views. There's the view we're looking for up there though, Island Peak, the summit. It's definitely a transition from trekking to, to mountaineering. You're using a harness, you're using equipment, and it definitely pushes you outside your comfort zone. We need to make sure that we're super safe, ropes are tight, one slip that the rest of the team takes the weight of that one person that falls. So when we get to the glacier, we cross this narrow ridge um, with drop-offs on either side, so it's not dangerous, but it's challenging in terms of just maneuvering over these rocks at this at high altitude. Then we had to transition to the next phase, which was crampons, crossing the glacier with the cross crevasses. And the terrain is now moving on ice, so we've got our mountaineering boots on with our crampons, and we're moving very, very slowly across this glacier before turning a corner, walking flat across the glacier up to 150 meter headwall at a 40 to 60 degree angle, before turning onto a narrow summit ridge, half a meter wide and straight onto the summit, which is probably a foot wide. And then there's a kind of a balcony area where everybody can just sit down and relax uh, and enjoy the summit. And it was a real mountaineering day. You definitely felt like you were doing some pretty extreme stuff that day. It was tough but it was uh, definitely something you'll always remember. And getting to the top was amazing, brilliant feeling. When you stand on a summit, taking that achievement away is something quite special and, and will never be forgotten. Coming from Australia, where our highest peak is a little over 2,000 metres, to be standing at 6,189 on Island Peak and looking at mountains that are a couple of thousand metres taller, you know, I, I may never get to do that again in my life. So this is a very special moment. We're pushing people, but we're also educating them every step of the way, every step of the journey, every day, there's something going on where it's safety. And um, if we were nervous, any technical issues, any safety issues, the guys were straight over to us. We bring our own ropes, we bring our own climbing guys, we bring our own anchors, we bring everything with us. We know it's tested, it's safe, and we use that on the mountain, and then we take it off with us. If you want the training, you could receive it any time and ask Ian for advice any time. He was there to help you out. When you're starting to abseil down a hill and you're not quite sure if you've got that figure of eight tied upright and you're about to take the leap of faith and chuck yourself off the mountain, you want to be able to turn to someone and say, does this look right? And when they say 100%, you know, okay, I can jump off the mountain now. I encourage anyone that's interested in taking the next step in their mountaineering career, they want to take that next challenge. I think Island Peak is the, is the climb that's going to challenge them beyond what they, they, they thought was possible. You know, if I ever think, you know, that's, that's probably not possible, I'll think back at Island Peak and I'll think, well, sure, if I did that, I can probably do a lot more than I think I can do. Just get in touch, give us a call, drop me an email. You can catch me at iantaylortrekking.com and I'd love to talk to you.